Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Jimmy. I'm here to review Dua Cologne 41. This fragrance is an inspired fragrance uh, cloning Abercrombie and Fitch Cologne 41. Now I have personally never heard of this fragrance, but I imagine it was good and it died down and got weaker over the years and then discontinued. That's usually the case with Abercrombie and Fitch fragrances. Now, <laughs> look at this new cap that I got with this. Um, the sticker here kind of shows a very clean look to it. And I agree, it smells very clean at first. And I'm gonna go over what I think about this right now after I tell you what's in it. We have a woody aromatic concentration. We have grapefruit, bergamot, patchouli, amber, and musk. Um, it's considered for men. However, as I'm gonna tell you, anybody can wear it um, if you choose to but I am a man and I put it on and I thought it smelled good. And then quickly, not too long after, it had a funk on me, kind of like B.O. And I was like, oh no, I hate that smell. I know exactly what's coming. <laughs> and I wasn't aware of what it was. Um, that scent is from Light Blue Forever. If you guys ever tried that scent, a lot of people love that grapefruit, man. And at first for about five seconds, I loved it. And I was like, yes, I found it but it kind of like has this weird funk, like armpit smell. Don't ask me how I know what that smells like, but this weird funky armpit smell that came out of nowhere. I'm like, why? Why is this here? I don't have a special nose. I should not have to, uh, you know, I don't, I don't, I can't pick out, I'm not a security dog. You know what I mean? I don't have a special ability to make sense up. It's either there or it's not. And if I smell it, I know you guys are smelling it too, in light blue forever. <laughs> It's got a marine aquatic grapefruit smell with armpit smell in it. What the hell's going on? This one kind of has a similar funk to it that kind of rises up there. You can even smell a little bit off the spare just because I'm so tuned into it right now. Um, not my favorite aftertaste to have in a fragrance. Um, some people are like, well, it's good to kind of put up with it because a fragrance is so good. Look, for me to like a fragrance, I like all aspects of it, okay? If there's even a hint of a tobacco fragrance or a leather fragrance, I just don't like about it. I have to scrap it. I can't wear it. I'm sorry. It's just a principle of the matter. I have to like the whole thing. And this one as well, it's it's grapefruit, it's citrusy, sure. It's got musk, it's got very simple uh, composition, oh, so it seems. What is that funk? Is it the rind? of a grapefruit because that's what light blue forever has i think love and luck by ed hardy kind of has a little bit of that funk to it like a vetiver funk um but this reminds me of the weird smell bo smell that i got from light blue forever so i will not be hanging on to this one now before i let you guys go am i saying that everyone will smell this even off of me when i wear it that weird smell? No. Am I saying that what I'm saying is correct? Of course not. It's subjective. However, I don't think I am being subjective. I think it really is there. But that's what I think in my own twisted brain. We all have different noses. We all have different pH balance systems in our skin, whatever the hell that means. So give it a shot yourself. You can even get smaller vials, perhaps even samples of this first before diving in, getting a full bottle. I think this goes for 60 bucks. You can get it on sale on weekends for a little cheaper, which helps if you buy several fragrances at once. Um, I think this was requested by some diehard fan in the Facebook group. Um, but I mean, it's got two solid reviews on their website, so people do like it. And maybe my nose is just a little too sensitive to that weird, funky smell. Anyway, try it out if it behooves you. I'll see you guys next time on to the next review.